In this video, I will show you how to reset your Windows 10 to factory settings. If your Windows takes a long time to boot up, factory setting can help. If you have been using your computer for a long time and you have installed and uninstalled a lot of programs, your Windows 10 could have become quite cluttery. Therefore, resetting your Windows also helps. Also, if you have upgraded your graphic card, CPU, or RAM, then also resetting your Windows would help. In this video, I will show you step by step how to reset your Windows 10. It's been a very long time that I have not resetted my Windows. I have cloned my C drive which is HDD drive to my E drive. Now my Windows is on my SSD drive and I got my original drive on E drive. So if I reset it, it will reset the SSD drive, the cloned version. So I have everything backed up and ready. So I suggest you also to back up everything and be ready. And then there is no risk or there shouldn't be, but you have to reinstall all the programs after resetting your computer. So make sure you save all the settings of the programs before resetting. So if you go to the windows and just simply type reset and you get the best match saying reset this PC system settings just select that and it tells you here if your PC isn't running well resetting it might help this lets you choose whether to keep your personal files or remove them and then reinstall windows just click on get started so it gives you two options one keep my files but it removes apps and settings but keeps your personal files or the second option is that remove everything which is your personal files apps and settings since as i said i've cloned my hard disk already i can remove all files and i will still have a copy of them so it shouldn't be any problems for me so i will go with remove everything so the current setting says just removes your files this is quicker but less secure remove all files only from the device where windows is installed you can just click next so it tells you that remove all the personal files and user accounts on this pc remove any changes made to the settings remove all apps and programs this will take a while and your pc will restart and click on reset preparing to reset this pc this will restart automatically and the percentage have already started. If for some reason Windows 10 refused to reset, what you have to do is to unplug all your external hard drives that are connected to your Windows. In addition to that, you need to go to your BIOS settings and uncheck all other drives other than your C drive where Windows is installed and then restart your computer and try to reset again and it should help. So now you can see resetting this PC is 29% and it will continue going forward here it is we went to the next step of the reset asking which language you want to have i will go with the united kingdom and click yes but does it make a difference you can say united states if you're living in the us so next thing is the region select the region you're living in say yes say yes click on skip it will restart again there is a user agreement last updated in June 2018. Please spend the time to read it and then if you're happy, accept it. Looks like you have no choice but to add an account when you're resetting your PC. So put your email ID, then press next. Enter your password. Then you need to verify your password if you got a two-step verification and then click next. Enter the code and press next. Then asks you to create a pin, click on create, then press OK. Now we will go through a series of questions by Windows. It is quite annoying, but we have no choice than to answer them. You don't have to answer the question the same way I answer, but this will give you a glance of what questions to expect. Click on whether you want to give your activity history or not. I don't want, so I click on no. Click on do it later, click on whether next or only save files to this PC. Say no thanks or if you want to try you can go ahead and try but I got 2019 office so I don't need it so I said no thanks. I declined this, 
I don't want to use my speech. Again, you can choose differently, but these are the options you have. I don't want to give my location. No. And again, send diagnostic data to Microsoft. I just send the basics. No, I don't want to send inking either. No, I don't need Taylor experience. No, I don't want targeted advertisements. At last, something is moving forward. And it might take several minutes. Here it is, Windows has been resetted. I hope now you learned how to reset your Windows 10. Also, if you want to learn how to improve the performance of your Windows, please watch my video on the screen. Or if you want to learn how to clone your hard disk where your Windows is installed to another drive such as SSD, you can also watch my video. Please don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye bye.